That's a little better. Carl, what's going on? Anyway, y'all have seen me with um, crazy, crazy curls and non-crazy curls and everything in between. So it really, <laughs> it's not the end of the world when my curls are um, doing things and not. Hello everyone. I've been wanting to make this video for five days now. If I'm going to be completely honest, I probably should not be making it right now. But I kind of feel okay enough to do it. I am talking, talking with a little bit of a lisp. So to, to start off, um, explanations explanation time five days ago i had a really insane astral projection trip experience and i i had to sit on it for a little bit before i decided i wanted to share it because it was pretty wild but that same that same day um, later on in the day i had all four of my wisdom teeth taken out quite the experience i can talk about all of that in another video maybe my next video i'll talk about my experience with getting my wisdom teeth removed because i <laughs> i'm still healing but um all that to say for this video i am going to be talking with a little bit of a list and maybe even slowly i really wanted to get this video up and i feel like i'm well enough to uh talk about this experience that i had so grab yourself a cup of tea this is just water in my favorite mug grab yourself a snack or some tea or some water or just sit there and watch me um, fumble over my words for the next 10 minutes let's do this how <laughs> Jesus um, on Thursday I was asleep as one usually um, does sometimes I don't even know where to begin I was laying down in my bed and I was woken up in my living room like here in my living room only the arrangement of my things were different they were like how they were when i first moved in kind of um i'll put a link to the video up here when you're watching it i'm pretty sure it's gonna be this side but either side i'll put a card if you want to see the layout that i had my apartment in I had a bunch of stuff um, on the living room floor so I think I was packing or I was unpacking packing or I was just rummaging through some things I became aware and had a really heavy urge to turn some lights on so I became conscious in my um I became aware but I wasn't conscious but I just had an urge to turn some lights on and I stood up and I have this little um, flower lamp thing on top of on top of my chimney and it has this little clicker on it and I tried to turn it on and it wouldn't turn on and then I became conscious and I was like oh okay okay and I know what's going on so I went to my room and I tried to turn on uh, my light in my room didn't turn on so I was uh, confirming and then I was not shot but I felt like there were like tracers for me coming from over there like like right there to the balcony door and I stood there the door was open um, the whole the whole throughout the whole duration of the experience the door was open so I, I remember I stood there and I see this little girl standing um, on the other side of my balcony and I felt 
I didn't really feel anything specific. I just remember standing there and I saw her and I was like, huh. She just stood there um, facing my direction. There was a little bit of blood. We're gonna use dreadlocks for an example. So where's my longest one? I have one that's like super duper long. She was wearing a little white dress and it was um, cut like this. So it had like an oval kind of neck. I don't know what that neckline is traditionally called, but it had that. But there was a little bit of blood like all throughout here. In the inside, um, like where her where she had been decapitated was really meaty so it was just meaty and there was a little bit of blood there she was just standing there i walked up to her and i could feel that she wasn't uh fully aware that i was um there it's strange because whenever you're in the the astral realm at least for me and my experience we don't typically we don't typically um like walk and you can like see the walking like for me it's usually when i'm moving i'm straight up floating <laughs> or um my movements come in tracers so it's like which is pretty interesting but i i walked up to her and it was like um from my balcony like standing right here and she's like right here it was like i was next thing i know i'm just like standing right in front of her but she's like right here and i'm right here and she's facing this way and i'm facing this way and i'm looking down at her and i gra i grab her shoulders um gently like just like a gentle like it wasn't like ah no 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 nothing like that it was just um i grab her shoulders and i said i release you and i think that startled her and that's what really got her to acknowledge that um i see you i'm aware of you um in this world and lingering around my space but um that that startled her and she started like flailing around a little bit like her arms were just like kind of doing this and um i said it again i said i release you and she stopped and she just stood there and the third time that i said it i was um very quick motion um tracer shot tracer shot back into my body but it was so strange because i was um it happened so quickly but it also like i saw it in slow motion so as i told her the third time i release you i was split i could feel a split happening um between my physical form that was still asleep in the bedroom and the form of me that was on my balcony as i was saying the words i release you I felt myself saying it in the astral realm, but I also felt my physical mouth like moving, um, trying to trying to say it and like struggling, like <laughs> like a, um, fa -fa 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 -fa. you know what I mean? It was um, struggling but trying really hard. I've had um, I know this feeling. Um, it's familiar. I've had a few experiences where I've. Um, had this split feeling between my astral body and my um, um, physical body. But the moment that I said that, um, I just laid there and I was shot back into my body when I finished the sentence. And I just laid there for a little bit, uh, tried to really process what just happened. I started to feel very weird. Just, I sat up. I turned on the lamp in my room and it's also it's just very dim um very um warm light and uh, i texted my friend nolan and um i asked him if he wanted to talk on the phone because i was uh, a little spooked and noli is esoteric i called esoteric nolan uh, to tell him my experience and 
The whole conversation was actually pretty hilarious. He said that I'm, um, that he wouldn't have done that. Midway through our conversation, I started to feel um, uneasy. And now I can feel when things are lingering around my apartment. I can feel when things are just passing by. I can feel whenever there's something heavy and weighted here. Um, I can't fully explain it, but I can feel these things. I'm very sensitive. I could sometimes, um, if the connection is intense enough, or if I'm, um, <laughs> if I'm soft enough, I can actually envision whatever entity is lingering and I don't like when that happens it kind of freaks me out then I had a vision pop into my head I saw the little girl she was still hanging around um, she was calm she was very very neutral I could see her staring in my direction um, through the window so on the balcony my room window is right beside it and it's just like the window but uh, the blinds were closed but I could see her in my in my mind's eye I could see her facing the direction of my window facing the direction of me and I started to feel really uneasy and I can feel that she was showing interest in me Noli mentioned um, well you don't know why she had her head cut off um, maybe she deserved it uh, I don't know I don't know I just know that I have empathy and um, I could feel for this girl and I just wanted them to know that they don't have to be here um, they can go other places pretty much it's just my way of saying you don't have to be here you can leave I don't know her binds I don't know her story I don't know anything about her but I could see her <laughs> staring at me so I started to get uh, really uneasy and my stones all of them except for my necklace but all of them were here and I had a calling specifically for my black tourmaline which is a really powerful um, protection stone I did not want to come to the living room to get it but Noli and I um, our conversation started lightening up a little bit that kind of helped me um, not feel so um, ah, not feel so scared so I eventually mucked up enough courage to come to the living room and I grabbed it and, that, and then I had to get ready for work. And then we go into the story of um, my experience with getting my wisdom teeth removed. Whoa! But that's that. Um, that's my experience with a um, very recent astral projection experience that I had. It was just meant to be um, a really short story time. And... Before I go, I actually want to show you guys what I saw. This is her. When they're impactful enough, I draw them. And this is a really rough sketch I did yesterday, but this is her. She had on this little white dress. It had this little butterfly embroidery design on it. And she had on these little black slippers. Hands just by her side and a little bit of blood and mostly chunks. Um, under there got some stuff in here that's pretty disturbing and that are um having to do with experiences i've had i've had some pretty dark <laughs> but that's it for today you guys um i'm starting to feel really weird and um i might even be swelling up again a little bit from talking but i really wanted to share this story with you guys um, 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 every day. <sighs> oh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope y'all are having a great day. It's, it's almost autumn. Hello. Um, I got my autumn colors on. I'm so excited. Take good care. Um, express love express gratitude tell your friends you love them have some water i don't know if i can do Peace. Oh. yeah i can't do it ah i can't um low ball my piece
Peace out, guys. Peace.